Shifty, what, what are your first impressions, or not first impressions, what are your impressions of the draft? The draft for this year, well, it's, it's pretty interesting. I think that we'll, we'd all say there's 40 to 50 that are pretty much certainties. The order is anyone's guess. We all think see things slightly differently in terms of uh, which player you'd take ahead of another. So I reckon that's that represents depth. There'll be another 20 taken after that. There's probably 100 players around Australia that are looking for those last 20 spots. and uh, So we're pretty happy with the, with the, the depth overall. Yeah. So St Kilda has picked number three. What sort of names can you give us? Obviously Tom Boyd's up there, probably likely to go number one at this stage, but what other names are going to be in and around the mark, do you think? Well, I'd think that the discussion would be around a midfield group. Uh, boys like James Ace, Jack Billings, uh, Josh Kelly, uh, uh, some of the better midfield-type players. There's also a kid called Matthew Sharonberg from South Australia, from Glenelg. He's probably the best of the key defenders. Uh, reads the ball magnificently across half-back, and he's had a back-to-back uh, under-18 uh, championship with SA where he made all Australia. And so he's been a star at, uh, at the best level available for him uh, in our national championship. So Sharonberg's one little bob up in there. Um, ben Lennon's another. He'd be more of your, your, your medium forward, a lead-up type forward that can push to the midfield. So there's a whole group of boys there that I'm sure they'd be milling over and considering for that uh, a very important choice. Yep. Now, St Kilda have just taken Jason Holmes from America. He's from Chicago. How, how uh, impressed are you with his um, ability, but also how important is it to get these kids in from America and give them a go at AFL football? Well, just on this morning, he slotted, I tell you, he made kicking for goal look pretty easy. He slotted three straight through the middle on his uh, preferred left foot. It looked like Buddy Franklin. He was so <laughs> natural. He was terrific. And he's a boy that's only picked up uh, the footy, the Sharon, back in April of this year. Uh, so he looked very natural and same with these Nathan Buckley kicking tests. So the footy in the hand is not a problem for Jace and uh, it's going to be exciting to see his journey through the and killed the footy club. He's an impressive young man, a lovely size at 203 centimetres. He's six foot eight. He's a genuine first choice athlete. Uh, he tested so well there yesterday, or the couple of days ago now, our running vertical jump. He's second only to Nick Natanui for, for absolute reach. So he's going to get his hand on the ball up in the air at, uh, at the stoppages with his wonderful natural leap and his, uh, and, and his uh, natural size, of course. So uh, I think he's going to be a great asset to you and uh, quite exciting to see the way he unfolds as a player. Wow, exciting times for St Kilda fans. Thanks for your time, Kevin. Uh, absolute pleasure and good luck to the Saints for, uh, for 2014. Thank you. Cheers.